Okay, folks, this is my uh, version of the weasel ball. I got the idea from Varmin Owl's website. Uh, a friend of his named Dick Wendell sent him a video recently with his uh, newest and latest version of it. Uh, it's a little bit better than the old one. And, uh, his version required using a welder, and I don't happen to have one, so I uh, uh, jury rigged my own version of it here. I'll uh, show you all the parts and pieces to it. It's real simple to make. It took me about 10 minutes to do once I actually figured it all out. And I, uh, get down to business and show you, show you what you got to do here. This little piece right here, uh, when the tail comes around and hits it, it uh, makes the, the weasel move uh, pretty erratically. Uh, pretty simple to do. I started out with a uh, two-foot length of uh, 3 16 steel. I picked that up at Home Depot or pretty much anywhere else. Uh, what I did was I bent the end of it in about that shape right there. And what that does is that fits around the motor body. Real simple. Uh, left it a little loose so you can pull it off real easy. I took a piece of eighth-inch camo bungee cord. You can use a rubber band or whatever you got. That goes around the motor and uh, holds it in place. Uh, this piece right here, what I used for a coupler, was a regular old Blick, Bic ink pen. I just took all the parts out of it and it became a coupler. And uh, this piece here is just a little two inch by two inch piece of the steel. Slips right inside. If it's loose, It'll, uh, when the tail hits it, it'll spin side to side and it'll be pretty much ineffective. So if it's real loose, you can just tape some electrical tape and wrap around it and it'll be nice and snug. I just tape that in place and it works pretty dang good. This section here is another ink pen. I uh, had to wrap some electrical tape around this one here. So that the ink pen's nice and tight. And now I've got you, now you got yourself a real good coupler. What I did to give a little more stability is uh, I took some 3 8 shrink tube and uh, put it on here and uh, heated it up with a propane torch. That's a little bit stronger and works pretty dang good. Paint everything up camouflage and you're in business. And I took a grinder and I ground a little sharp point on the end and uh, it's stuck in just about every ground I've found except for rocks. Anyway, there it is. Cheap and easy and 